You're gonna love this before and after of the main bedroom and bathroom in our RV. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I finally did it. I finally, two years after purchasing, renovated the main bedroom and the bathroom area in our RV. We purchased this RV in 2020. I renovated the main space, then I renovated the bunk room, and then just kind of left this area. Didn't do it last year because we bought our cabin and turned that into a vacation rental, and that renovation was a whole thing in itself. Check that out after you watch this video. It's wild. <laughs> So finally, this spring, we're going on an epic road trip. I cannot wait. I can't wait to take my girls on this road trip. So I thought I would finally finish remodeling this camper. So here's what the bedroom and the bathroom looked like before. get into this renovation. Okay, so we think we can take this out without causing any issues. There's electrical, I guess. Yeah. But I was thinking it would be pretty straightforward to move the electrical to the side. Yeah, probably. Just some sconces. I don't shit. Oh. I can do the rest. Now I'm removing the rest of the upper cabinetry here over the bed. We just kept smashing our head on this cabinetry and it really had no use for us. We can store pretty much everything we need to in those side cabinets. I also removed that little insert thing in the middle. I don't have any footage of that, but it was just really easy to kind of pry out with a screwdriver and I'm gonna cover that up. I ordered these um, light fixtures off of Amazon. They have a switch on them, so they're perfect for an RV. All you need to know about putting uh, new light fixtures in RVs is they just require a 12 volt bulb. So you can special order those off of Amazon or elsewhere and then just use a regular fixture. So we open this up. I'm gonna have Sean rewire the back there before I put some panel board on it. And I'm just going to put one of these on each of the top corners for some reading lights. I think that'll be perfect. I'm drilling some holes in the panel board behind the bed for the electrical to put the light fixtures through. And then I found this panel board at Home Depot and I'm drilling holes in the same spot here. Two of these panels fit pretty much perfectly onto the back of this bed area. And I think this is gonna make a really beautiful modern headboard. Sean's rewiring the electrical. So he's just pulling the wires from the back through these holes. Now I'm going ahead and taping everything as I prep to spray paint the whole thing. I'm gonna opt to use my paint sprayer this time. I really hate the prep for paint spraying, but I know once I get the sprayer ready to go, it's gonna go really, really fast. I'm also removing all of the curtains and the hardware. So I'm removing the hardware in the bathroom as well as the divider curtain between the bedroom and the bathroom area. I actually am tempted to keep the carpet just on the bed platform area. So I've taped that off as well. And then that gives me the option to either keep the carpet or remove it. All right, I have my lovely paint onesie on because I'm gonna be doing some spraying. Sean convinced me to tape everything off, so it's all taped off. I'm gonna spray, because yes, it is faster, even though the taping is very frustrating. Before I do the primer and the painting, I'm going to use this Gloss Off product. This is a Rust-Oleum product. It is a, basically like a liquid sandpaper. I've used this before on painting cabinetry. It does work, to me, it's as effective as um, using sandpaper. So I'm gonna be applying this to the cabinetry, 
before I prime, before I paint. I'm using my Wagner Flexio 5000 paint sprayer and I'm just going to begin by priming all of the cabinetry. I'm just using a kitchen and bath primer. I will link it in the description box below. It's by Bear. I've used it on the rest of my camper and I know that it lasts. So after I've liquid sanded all of the cabinetry, I'm just priming it with the spray painter and I'm definitely glad that I did do this. Oh my gosh, I forgot to cover my light fixture. <laughs> oh no. I'll try to use crud cutter to get that off, I guess. Uh. Now that I've primed all of the cabinetry, I am using bare scuff defense and I am painting the whole ceiling and all of the walls in this whisper white color. My favorite white, it's the same one that I have in the rest of the camper and the paint sprayer makes it so much faster than rolling. Again, hate the prep, but I love this part. It is so satisfying. Now I'm using a foam roller and a brush and using some cabinet and trim enamel in the same whisper white and I'm painting the door. I'm putting some wood glue on the back of this paneling and then just using my finishing brad nailer to nail it onto the back part of this bed area. This covers up the hole that was left by removing that one insert piece and also I feel like I love the feature that the beadboard gives this area. Alright, my favorite part, removing all the tape and everything. Let the sun shine in. Oh yeah. Look how beautiful this color is. It's called Black Evergreen. It's a bare color. It's a very deep green. This is gonna go on the cabinetry up here. I'm hoping to make it look like a built-in. Look how beautiful. I can't wait to see how that looks on. To put on this deep green color, I'm just using a regular paintbrush and my foam roller just so I don't have to tape everything off again. And this is kind of more detail work. I'm going to paint the entire back wall of this bedroom area to kind of create a feature wall. I've also decided to paint the vanity in this little bathroom area in the same black evergreen color as well as the mirror cabinetry on top. I've removed all of the cabinet doors off of the cabinets in here and I'm painting them with a foam roller as well. This is looking amazing. This color is just rich. I love it taking forever, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm using the bare cabinet and trim enamel in Whisper White to paint the rest of the cabinetry in the bathroom area too. So rather than um, doing some sort of treatment on the surround and the toilet, which are sort of a warm beige color, I think I'm gonna to try to put some peel and stick wallpaper here. And I had some for another project, decided not to use it, but I think it'd be perfect for this. So it's this sort of, almost like a, a leafy colored white and beige wallpaper. So I think if I apply it to this wall, to this wall, it's gonna tie everything in. And it's a really easy solution to make it look a little bit more stylish. This was literally impossible for me to film because this area is so small, but if you want to see how to install peel and stick wallpaper, I will leave a link to another video I did on that down in the description box below. 
Now that the cabinetry is completely dry, I'm just reattaching the doors to all of the cabinets in the bathroom area as well as the bedroom area. I'm opting to use peel and stick tile for the back of the vanity in the bathroom, and this is exactly the same tile that I've used before in this camper kitchen area. It's really easy to install and I've loved how it's lasted the last two years so far. I'm scraping off any extra paint that I have on the bathroom vanity mirror and also attaching the doors to the bedroom area and Sean is just adding the outlets back to the bedroom wall as well as adding those light fixtures that I bought. I found the fixtures as well as the bulbs for the RV on Amazon and I'll link to those down in the description box below. Now I'm taking these really simple golden handles and I'm attaching them to all the cabinetry in the bedroom and bathroom. I'll link to these in the description box below too. Okay, we have the plumbing master here. He's going to attach this new faucet. Not exactly plumbing master. What's that? I don't, I'm not a plumbing master. Not in any way, shape, or form. I feel like this brushed gold faucet is going to add just a little bit of extra kick to the bathroom area. And then I chose a really pretty brushed gold towel holder from HomeSense and attached it to this area as well. Now I'm going to lay some flooring. I'm choosing to use vinyl plank in this hallway area. It's the same flooring that I used in the rest of the RV. It's truly the worst to be cutting around things like toilets and stuff with the vinyl plank, but you do just need a craft knife. And, oh my goodness, I just finished the worst piece. All around the toilet. Gorgeous. Whew, almost there. I'm using some cafe rods I found at Home Depot to place them over top of the windows here in the bedroom area. They're just nice and lightweight and they don't come out very far. And then I just have some Ikea curtains that I hemmed. I love adding hooks to RVs and campers. You can't have too many, so I have installed some in the bedroom and the bathroom as well. So as a reminder, here's how the bedroom area looked before. And here it is now. I absolutely am in love with how this turned out. I love this deep, dark, evergreen colored back wall, but then we have the nice white walls to keep everything feeling spacious and open. I certainly believe that in a small space, light and white walls really work wonders, bouncing light around and making everything appear lighter. So I really like using that effect for RVs and campers. We have enough room for just a standard size queen mattress, so we're nice and comfy, and I love that we have the vinyl plank in the hallway, but I did opt to keep the carpet in the main area. It was actually in good shape, and I just cleaned it, shampooed it, and it's still nice and cozy. I could remove that later if I wanted to, but I actually like it for now. Here is the before of the little tiny bathroom area, the vanity area, and the toilet and tub combo, and here it is now. I've actually kept the countertop the same because I like how it tied the green in of the vanity color. I feel like the peel and stick backsplash and the faucet really updates this area and I really love how light and bright it looks now. Here's the tiny, tiny little toilet area. This actually turned out pretty cute too. It was a little bit tricky to figure out what to do in here, but I like how the wallpaper just ties in the almond colored toilet and tub. And then I just found a really pretty shower curtain from HomeSense, installed that. It has the beige, it has the white. And then we have some hooks for all of our towels. And then I even have some toilet paper hanging on one of the hooks here too. The area with the closet now looks so much bigger because we painted it white and added the gold hardware.
Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below which part of this bedroom bathroom you liked the best. My personal favorite is the feature wall color. I just think it's so rich, so cozy, and I love how it looks in this bedroom space. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.